here loves to laugh? Yeah. yeah. Feels good to laugh. We like being with people who make us laugh. And there's good reason for that. In the last 50 years, science finally has paid more attention to the effects that laughter has on our physical and emotional well-being. There's the saying, laughter is the best medicine. Imagine if our doctors one day started including laughter in their prescriptions. <laughs> now, the scientific community curiosity may have started with this man. Norman Cousins, famous journalist in his day, and in 1964, he was diagnosed with a rare and debilitating disease. His doctors gave him a few weeks to live. He did what most would have a hard time doing. He laughed. He made it a point to laugh every day for 30 minutes until the day he died, 26 years after the diagnosis. Here are just some of the benefits that science has looked into and proven to be true. Science, science, laughter helps to strengthen the immune system and the brain. In fact, science proves that laughing may decrease our chances of developing dementia because when we laugh, we help to decrease stress hormones, cortisol, and adrenaline. When our bodies overproduce these stress hormones, science has shown that it could actually damage certain parts of the brain. On the other hand, when we laugh, we increase the production of feel-good hormones known as endorphins and dopamine. These are the same hormones that give runners the runner's high. That's why we feel so good after a good bout of laughter. And when we feel good, our immune systems work better too. Laughter helps to protect the heart and the lungs. In fact, laughing helps with the function of blood vessels. It improves the function of blood vessels. As we laugh, we increase blood flow, similar to a light cardio workout. It's great. And the other reason laughter is so good is because it's great for the lungs. Because as we laugh and force air out with the sound of ha, we help to expel more carbon dioxide from deep within, allowing for more oxygen to enter. And with more oxygen, we have more energy. Laughter is a great workout. <laughs> you burn calories and strengthen the abs. In fact, laughing for 15 minutes can burn up to 50 calories. Skip the freaking treadmill. And when you laugh, you strengthen the abs. It's a great excuse to substitute 100 sit-ups for one full minute of laughter. Amazing, check out those abs. <sighs> the other great thing about laughter, it helps to increase the production of the human growth hormone. Science showed that laughing increases the production by 87%. Now, as you can see, the human growth hormone, we got a lot of it in the early years, but then it just slides off the scale by age 30. So if we laugh, we help to produce this human gro growth hormone, and this is great because it helps with body composition, body fluid, it helps keep our bones and muscles in check, it helps with our sugar and fat metabolism, amazing. Laughter increases quality, and quantity of life. Science shows, a Norwegian study showed that people with a strong sense of humor outlived those who didn't laugh as much. Now, you may recognize these four very funny ladies. They've been making us laugh for a very long time, and they're nowhere near stopping. Lily Tomlin is 78. Carol Burnett is 84. Betty White is 95. Ellen, she's a baby. She's only 59, soon to turn 60. And I'm willing to bet she's nowhere close to stopping making us laugh. She'll still make us laugh in 40 years from now. Check it out. Now, as great as it is to have these funny ladies and others make us laugh, the good news is 
We don't need to wait for someone or something to make us laugh. Because science has proven that regardless of whether the laughter is real or simulated, the body makes no distinction. <laughs> that means that as we engage in deep and loud laughter, all the benefits I just outlined still happen. Amazing! Now, some people have voiced concern, saying, yeah, but faking the laugh? It's weird. It doesn't feel as natural or authentic. I get it. But waiting for those moments that make us laugh can be few and far between. So rather than leave it to chance, we can choose to laugh. Now, here's something else that happens as we engage in this laughter. That's where the emotional well-being kicks in. Because as we do engage and we laugh and laugh, we start to feel the emotions associated with laughter. This is how we give rise to hope, to joy, and increase feelings of happiness in our lives. So, how do we laugh more every day? If waiting for the bus or the boss is about to start a meeting, that's not a good time to start laughing. <laughs> But you can exercise laughing in your homes doing chores like washing dishes or fixing the bed. You can. Or sitting in your car stuck in traffic. Great opportunity to exercise laughing. <laughs> and if you get to laugh with others, ah, oh, hallelujah. Now, I like to say no theory is valid without practice. Therefore, I'm going to invite you to participate in this short practice called laughter. Now, I mentioned before at home if you're washing dishes, so let's all take an imaginary dish. Good. Imaginary sponge in hand. Good. Now, just start with circular motions. Mm -hmm. And on go, I want us all to start laughing. Ready? Set, go. <laughs> All right, your dish is clean. Oh. Now, if your spouse walks in and gives you a strange look, that's okay. That'll create intrigue or fear. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> let's do one more. Okay, this is, no, this is a really good one because when you're stuck in traffic, this is where we have a lot of adrenaline kicking in, right? So we need to bring the adrenaline down, okay? Gotta protect the brain. Okay, so grab the steering wheel. 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, like we were taught in school, right? And no one does it, okay. <laughs> Big smile. Okay, and now we know we have to laugh. Take a deep breath in. And laugh. <laughs> better too. Now, I adopted this practice 10 years ago, and I haven't looked back since. I make it a point to start my days every day with one minute of laughter, and as much as I can, I try to kick it up. <laughs> Here's the deal. It's within our power, right, to decide to laugh more, to do whatever we can to increase positive feelings in our lives. 
So it's up to us to laugh bold, laugh strong, and laugh more so we build our bridges to better health and happiness. Thank you.